How's everybody today? This is Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish, and I, I think we're, we're ready for a really simple, really effective caddis larva. So in the vise, this is the Daiichi 1120 size 16 for the bead, just a 330 seconds brass and black. And right now I'm going to add about six wraps of some non-lead weighted wire. This is size 0.015. And once you've got it wrapped, a little trim and round over that cut edge. And then we'll do the same thing on the back side. Turn the vise and roll that little cut end over. From here, it's simply slick into the back of that bead and we're ready to go. For the thread today, I've got some 12 aught Vivas black. And I'll say this for a small thread, this stuff is really strong. Not, it's not gonna fray on you and not gonna break. I mean, you can, if you wanna test and, and you hit that hook point too many times, well then it, it will, but I'm not sure of any thread that won't. So 45 degree angle, get a couple thread wraps over those weighted wire wraps and then on the third pass we'll just come right on top and hammer them all down. For this fly there are only two more materials to go. I mean this is simple but wow does it get eaten. So we've got some chartreuse v-rib size midge and remember there is a rounded side that is going to be placed against the hook shank as we tie this in. And the only reason we do that is so that as we begin to wrap it, the rounded side will be sticking out and it will leave a little segmented look, which the fish absolutely do look for. Get that tied in all the way down and come back up. And that is it for tying in this little V-rib. I'm gonna tilt this and get started. And instead of spacing these, we're going to wrap in touching wraps. So once I've got a couple started, I'll tilt it back towards you and you can watch this thing go. And yes, this is a little tricky because I'm used to looking at this from a much different angle. So if anybody sees me missing a wrap, just shout out real quick. All right, and we're almost to right behind the eye. I just don't want to crowd it so much that I can't get our last material in. So from here, try not to hit the camera and get a couple good solidifying wraps and then a couple in front. And now we can trim this little V-rib out. I hope you're all with me so far because we're almost done with this bug. Now for the coup de gras and to finish this up, we have some caddis green dyed peacock from Nature Spirit. And I'm just going to go in here pretty close to where the eye of the sticks are. And I'm going to grab about three pearls. I'm going to tie them in right up here behind the bead. And this, this is just going to give us a little thorax. Um, you could use, you know, a darker brown, a black, whatever you want. I just really like caddis green colored peacock. And so do the fish. All right, so we have our, our three hurls tied in. And much like any other bug, we're going to pull them up and start to twist. Make a little strong hurl. Three became one. Add strength. And it will add fullness once we start wrapping this and looks like this might be our our final wrap right here and three and then pull it back a couple thread wraps in front of the hurls before trimming out all that goodie 
right there. That was pretty buggy. And in your water, the, you know, caddis bodies have different coloration, so make sure you're looking. But typically this, this green color is pretty recognizable to the fish, chartreuse, you've, you've all heard the adages. But let me finish this second whip finish here. Get that thread out of there so you can see what we got. That is as simple as it gets, folks. Caddis larva, you need them. Uh, the streams where you're fishing, the fish are looking for them. They know this is an easy bug to get their, their mouth around. And follow the rocks, pick a couple up. When you see caddis underneath, cased caddis, any of that, you know it's time to put this little guy on and, and catch some fish. So I hope you guys really enjoy this one. Please tie this. It's, it's ready for any skill level. And if you enjoyed, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the water.